Sing nine time, three months later. The cave is crammed with food. There is barely enough space to maneuver. Nude and Kyle are tending a fire. They work slowly but steadily. Otherwise, the cave is empty. Keva, Maka, Elma, Kilgar in there. Keva is carrying the spear. Maka is carrying K2. They return with nothing. Keva and Maka sit on their thrones. Elma and Kilgar sit on the floor. The world is changing. One skin was plentiful, now nothing. Dika told me this would happen. Dear King, what did Dika say we should do? I cannot say. King Keva, maybe more of us should have spears so we can hunt like you. No, that is forbidden. I'd rather we starve before I let that happen. I am the guardian of the spear. Dika ordered it. As priests, you should know that. I, I didn't mean to offend you, oh great king. But it seems un useless for only one of us to hunt while the rest of us retrieve. That is the will of Dika. There will be no more talk about it. Suddenly from off stage comes the sound of a crowd of people approaching. Who can that be? The sound becomes louder. See who it is and tell them to wait outside. Yes, King Keba. Elma exits. They sound angry. Don't worry, my queen. Keba tightens his grip <coughs> on the spear. Elma returns. King Keba reignites outside with his woman and the rest of his clan demanding to speak with you. They are very angry. Show Regna and his woman in. The others must remain outside. Kilga will remain at the entrance of the cave to make sure that no one enters. Kilga, you will take the Bruce with you to stand guard. Yes, King. Let's go, you two. Moments later, Regna and his woman enter. They are chromads, too. The woman's name is Lita. Both are in early twenties. Welcome to my cave. What may I do for you? Oh, stop this act, Kaba. You know who I am and why I'm here. You will address the king with respect. You? A king? Ridiculous. You could even wash your gingrave without making a mess. Where is Dilka? It is forbidden to mention his name. What's going on here? Dear Regna, I am King Kaba. The person you knew years ago is no more. Oh, you're, you're one of those prophets, are you? I warn you, speak to the king with respect. My dear, we must be in the wrong cave. This is no king. I see no king. Dika made me king. That you do not know this shows that you have incurred Dika's disfavor. Otherwise, Dika would have told you. Or well, Dika told me nothing. Because there is no Dika. You were mumbling the same rubbish when you were in my clan. You are offending Dika, and that is bad. Why are you here now? I'm here because you're hunting. You, you, you're destroying my clan. My boys have seen you hunting with that stick of yours, and, and when we demand that you stop, because you're killing all the deer and yellow, and, and soon there will be no food for us. That is sad news. I will think on it. You, you will think, think on it. it. What's there to think about? I have children to feed. I cannot give you an answer. That is unacceptable. We will not leave until we get an answer. And where is Dolka? That is not a concern of yours. Well, I beg to differ, King. He was my favorite cousin. He had an accident. Dolka never has accidents. That is true. He was a strong man. How would you know? He was my brother. We'll deal with that later. So what is your answer? I'll tell you my answer. Keba gestures with, with his hands at Ioma, who stabs Regna in, in, in the chest. Regna collapses dead. Lita is shocked. No! You killed my man! Yes, I did. He was being disrespectful. Lita rushes at Kaba, who brandishes the spear in her face. Lita stops. Back off! Now! Murderer! No, I am king, and the king does not commit murder. Your clan is now mine. No, we will never accept you. No, you might as well kill me now. No, I will not kill you. You are a brave woman, so you shall live. I did not start this fight, you did. You will tell your clan what happened here, and to make no more trouble. And that I am king, and that you are my regent. I will never serve you. You are lower than the brutes. I understand your anger, so I excuse you this one time. But I have the spear while you have rocks. You think you can lord over us like a god? It is the will of Dika. Dika, whoever your god is, has nothing to do with this. You killed my man in cold blood. I will not argue with you further. I give you pardon to leave now and to take your man's body with you. He was nasty to me when he was alive, so I will not honor his memory. Now I know what happened to Duca. 
The person is gone and his name will not be mentioned again. Do you understand? Remember Duca! Remember Rina! Silence! The king has spoken. One more outburst and you deal with me. And I will not be so forgiving as my man. Ha! Listen to the she-dog. She's so brave with her man next to her. Don't make me angry. All talk, my dear Maka. I declare vendetta. Then vendetta it is. You have invited your own death. Clownsmen, prepare for war! End of scene nine. Scene ten, night time. Keiba and Maka are talking. You should have killed her. Why? She was only trying to defend her memory of her man. You would have done the same for me. But she is trouble. She will only stir hatred against you. That will pass. She will find another man. Also, I alone cannot rule two tribes at once, so I need her. And as long as I have the spear, no harm will come to us. But Keiba... You worry too much. No, this is different. Her clan is many. We are only four. Diko will provide for us. Are you certain? After all that has happened, you still doubt me. No, Keiba. Then don't lose faith. Without faith, we are lost. Faith in who? You or Dika? Both. Why is this all happening now? Dika is testing us to determine if we are worthy of his blessings. But what if we fail the test? Already, you are losing faith. But can you stop an entire clan with one spear? It is not just one spear. It is the only spear in the world. But there are other weapons and other defenses. Nothing can defend against the spear. Not the mighty deer, not the swift antelope, not the ugly brutes, and not anybody or anything. Diko wills it. Remember when Ilma and Kilgo were enemies? Now they sleep together and will have a baby. Diko willed that too. Neither one will desert me, nor will you, my dear queen. You are truly the blessed one. Kaba smiles. End of scene 10. Scene 11, two weeks later. Kaba enters, carrying the spear, which is dripping with blood. He is followed by Kyoga and Elmar, who are exhausted and bleeding. Mak is tending the fire. K2 is in his basket, located next to Maka's throne. The cave now contains little food. Kyoga and Elma collapse onto the floor. Kaba is smiling. He sits on his throne. Today you both did well. My congratulations. Did well, my king? We almost got killed. Look at us. We're bleeding. Is that true? It is true, sister. Our situation is hopeless. You are wrong. But king, sir, your spear is no good against them. Did I not today kill five of them? Every time the spear struck one of them, the others ran away terrified. They are afraid of even touching it. And did you not yourself kill three with your bare hands? Yes, that is true, but there are so many of them and so few of us, and they know how to stop the spear. Nothing can stop the spear! But King, we saw for ourselves that they have a way of stopping the spear. A trick, that is all. But it isn't a trick. They take animal skins, stretch them, and use them as screens. Some are so thick that the spear cannot penetrate. But those hides are heavy and hard to move around, so they cannot always block the spear. That is true, Kim Kava, but sometimes they do block the spear, and when we retrieve the spear, they hide behind the screens and hurl rocks at us. And I cannot get close enough to them to use my knife. King, we need more spear handlers. That is forbidden! I am the only spear handler. No one else may touch the spear. Then, King Kava, we will lose and die. You are trying my patience, you whelp! You want to, to lose, don't you? Admit it! I never said any such thing, King. But I don't want to die, at least not yet, if I can avoid it. King Keba, Kilga is right. We need another spear handler. Of course you support your man. It's because of me that the two of you are together, under my protection. And look how you repay me. With betrayal? Now you want to steal my weapon and then gang up on me and kill me? Your weapon? I thought it was a gift from Dika. It is a gift from Dika. But the king just said, it was his weapon, not Dika's. What is going on here? Dear sister, how did the king acquire his secret? That is none of your business. My king, please be careful with the spear. We have enemies outside of the cave and inside too. Ilma and Kilgar are not enemies. They are family. They are your family, not mine. I don't need family. I don't need anyone. I am the chosen one. Kaba, come out now. I will let you live. You cannot win. Come out now. You are talking to your king. I order you to go away now. 
or you will invite the wrath of Dika that will destroy you. Your God has abandoned you. If you do not come out, we will come in. The choice is yours. Maybe, maybe we should give up. You too? You are all against me. All of you always hated me. Where are the brutes? I want my brutes. They will help me. King, all the brutes are dead. Lita killed them. The brutes loved me. They, I gave them food and they gave me loyalty, which is more than I can say for any of you. I'm not willing to die for nothing. Nor am I. Also, I must protect the new life Dika put inside me. Kilga and Elma get up and embrace. We're coming out! But I can't leave my sister! We must leave. Kiva is a madman. Do not call our king a madman. You swore allegiance to him. At the point of a spear. Don't leave, little sister. They will kill you. They want to kill him. I am not Lita's enemy. Kilga, you are the cause of all the trouble. I should have killed you. Then do what you must, because I am leaving. Do not disobey me! This is your last warning. Kilga stirs at Kaba, then he turns around and starts exiting. As chief of security, I order you to kill Kilga! Kill my own man! I order you! In the name of Dika, so do it now! Emma grabs her knife. She is weeping. You won't do it? Then I'll do it myself! As Kaba readies to hurl the spear, Emma hurls her knife at Kaba, striking him on the chest. Kaba collapses to the ground, blood gushing from the wound. Kilda exits. No! What did you do? I could not let him kill Kilga. Help me, Dika! You fool. Kaba starts coughing up blood. Maka and Emma rush over to Kaba and kneel beside him. Get away from him! Emma stands up and backs away. It is over. Soon I'll be dead. Don't forget me and take care of K2 and destroy the spear. No one is to ever learn my secret. Y you can't die. Maka. No! Lita enters, accompanied by a troop of cro -Mags. They are crouching behind animal skins stretched over sticks. They are holding rocks and wooden clubs. Don't touch him. Is he dead? Yes. The king is now with Dika. Put down your weapons. Maka grabs the spear, momentarily points it at Lita, and then tries to break it. Stop that! Lita grabs the spear out of Maka's hand. I want to examine this magical spear. Kabo ordered that the spear be destroyed. It is a gift from Dika. Ignoring Maka's warning, Lita carefully examines the entire length of the spear, including the part where the head is fastened to the shaft, and then places the spear next to Kabo's body. There, he can have his spear back. I now know the secret, and besides, it is cursed. So what, what is the secret? You don't know? Heba never told me. You know what? I don't want to know, because it is forbidden knowledge. Never mind that. It's my secret now. From now on, anything that happens will be on you and you alone. Whatever happens will happen. I declare this place evil and order that the entrance to this cave be completely and permanently sealed. We will leave at once. You are now my slaves. Maka picks up the basket containing K2. Lita, Maka, Ilma, and the others start exiting. End of scene 11. Scene 12. Time, the present. The cave is part of an archaeological site. Four people enter. Two men and two women. They are a team of young archaeologists. Their name are Ken, Kevin, Mala, and Enid. And except for their modern attire, each one bears an uncanny resemblance to Keba, Kilga, Maka, and Ilma, respectively. They are the first persons to enter the cave in 46,767 years. Sunlight from outside provides some illumination, but inside the lighting is dim. All four are carrying flashlights and cameras. You were right! There was an entrance to a cave behind those rocks! Everybody be careful. We don't want to disturb anything. All four slowly move forward. What is that? I don't know. Let's check it out. On the count of three, everybody point their flashlights in that direction. Ready? One, two, three. Interesting! Oh, what, the... what we have here is a well-preserved skeleton of a male. And next to it is, <coughs> is an object that looks like a spear. I wonder who he was. It's too early to say. I wonder what he did. How do we know it's a he? You can tell by the shape of the pelvis and thigh bones. 
The body wasn't buried. It was just left here. <clears throat> Let's move a little closer and try not to disturb anything. All four slowly move closer to the pile. Stop. They stop. I wonder what happened in here. Let's take a closer look. Ken moves even closer and then kneels over the remains. There's a large cutting stone lodged in between the ribs. That might be the weapon that was used to kill him. So he was murdered. Murdered? They didn't have any laws back then. He was killed, period. I say he was murdered. Maybe he deserved it. And maybe he didn't. That's all speculation. Maybe he did something bad. Well, what makes you say that? I was only talking. Hey, what's gotten over you? Oh, this is a special place. I can feel it. How old do you think the remains are? Judging by the conditions of the bones, I would guess roughly forty to 50,000 years. Now, I want to take a closer look at that spear. Interesting way that the head is fastened to, to the shaft. It's proof that by the time this gentleman died, humans had acquired the ability to construct sophisticated weapons. Maybe he was the one who discovered how to make that spear. That could be. Maybe he died because he refused to give up the secret. That could be true. But now you know the secret. Yes, I do. And with me, the secret will remain. Spoken like a king. With Kevin and Edith watching in amazement, Mala bows down to Ken, who maintains a tight grip on the spear. The end.